Greetings, this is m squared, and we're going to change from exponential form to radical form in this lesson. So keep in mind what the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction do when you switch over to radical form. The numerator becomes the power on the variable or the number that you have, and the denominator becomes the index. So if you keep that in mind, this is really easy. So we change this to radical, this becomes the power on the 7, this becomes the index. So we put the 4 there, and we don't have to put the 1 on the 7 because 7 to the first power is just 7. Over here, this becomes the index, and the numerator becomes the power. And in this one you'll notice that there's a 3, and then there's a to the 4 fifths. Well, we have to remember our rules. Our rules for powers of powers says to multiply. So we're going to multiply. 3 times 4 is 12. And when you multiply it, remember it's top times top, bottom times bottom. So we really get x to the 12th, 12 fifths. And if we're going to square root that, we have x to the 12th and then to the 5th. But you remember your rules for simplifying radicals. If there's something perfect, if there's a perfect square, or in this case a fifth in there, then we have to take it out. So it's not simplified, even though we've changed it to radical form. So we could switch that to x to the fifth times x to the fifth times x squared. So we have 5 plus 5 plus 2, because that's our rule when we're multiplying variables, we add the exponents. 5 plus 5 plus 2 is 12, so it's the same thing. But this is x, and this becomes an x when we take it to the fifth root. Remember, these guys, if we had switched it back, we would get the 5 over 5, which is 1. So we end up with x squared, because when this comes out, it becomes an x. When that one comes out, it becomes an x. And x times x is x squared. And then in the, inside the radical, we have x squared. So this would be our simplest form of that radical. And then over here, we just get 5 to the third and the fourth power of that. And since this is smaller than that, there's nothing we can take out. We need four fives in here to bring one out. So that's how you change exponential, I mean, <laughs> numbers that have rational um, exponents to radical form. So we switch it from having a fraction exponent to going to the radical expression. Good luck with that. M squared, signing out.